All right, guys, today we got a 2007 Cadillac Escalade 6L80E valve body on the bench. And the complaint with this was uh, uh, puts it in drive, sometimes it doesn't move like it has a neutral condition. And this is usually caused by the number one check ball shrinking down, uh, possibly getting stuck in the plate or blowing through the plate. So we're going to disassemble the valve body and see what we can find. Okay, so uh, these are your speed sensors here. This is your input speed sensor. This is your output speed sensor, which plugs into the Tecum right here. So we want to take that off first. Okay, plugs in right here. Now we're going to flip this over. This way. All right, so the next we have your clicker for the valve body. All right, this here is your internal mode switch, but we're going to disconnect it from the tech of first. And the way you do that is this is a little lock. You're going to move this lock over, and then you squeeze the tab, pull up, and out it comes. Okay, internal mode switch. All right, the next thing we're going to take off is the computer, or as they call the TECM, a transmission electronic hydraulic control module. And we'll also look at the pressure switches when we take this off because they're common to go bad. And we don't believe there were any codes for that. Okay, we got two bolts around back. Okay, and this is your Tecum. All right, these are the pressure switches here. Uh, a lot of times you would see that they are destroyed, but these look in pretty good shape. So we're going to put this aside. Alright, then we're going to start uh, to disassemble the valve body. these out and we're going to split it open and see if in fact that check ball is our problem. Okay, so we got all the bolts out. And the next thing we got to do is open this up very carefully. Okay. Do it like this. Get one side up, the other side up. see actually a check ball that's lodged right in the plate and that is the number one check ball. I don't know if you can see that right here. It shrunk down that more than likely is the problem. That goes right in the number one spot. Okay. 
All right, got it out. This actually is, I hope you can see that, that's what the size should be, and that's what the size the check ball was. Now when we replace this, we're going to replace one from a 42RE. I had a couple extra laying around, they're both quarter inch. This is the number one, there's a bunch of check balls in here. Here, 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 three of them here. And this is the problem one, the number one right here. Okay, so that's good. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this valve body back together. We're gonna put the plate back on. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put the plate back on. And now this. Gently tighten these down. Okay. Now we'll tighten that with a 10 millimeter. Okay. Now we'll flip this over. Maybe we can see better from that way. We're going to put these back in. Pretty much go along the outside. Tighten those down. this uh, Tecum back on. Let's see if I can do something like this. Put this up here. This. Hopefully you guys can get a decent angle there. side. Okay, and the next 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put on our internal mode switch. Now when you put on the internal mode switch, you've got to make sure you get this right in, this, right in between here. Just like that. This way it'll slide as the arm slides. sensors and I'm going to leave the other piece off the clicker because I'll have to put this back into the car. It'll probably be a little easier. I'm going to put these back in. Put this in here. pretty much about it for this one. So again, this is a 6L80E valve body. We found the check ball, number one check ball shrunk down, which gave it a neutral condition in drive. So I'll be installing this valve body in the morning and giving it a road test. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.